Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is January 29th, 2022. It is 4.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry from t for today. Um, I've pretty much stopped doing live streams. Nobody watches them anyways, and I end up just posting them as videos. So from now on, I'm probably going to just do videos and then upload the video. Um, today is an okay day. I've had better days. Um, I'm in some degree of physical pain. Um, I'm still continuing with my physical therapy exercises because I have diffuse pain throughout my body, my muscles, my joints, my tendons, my ligaments. Um, I don't have an official diagnosis for what's causing the pain. I am taking some medications for the pain, whatever is causing the pain. I'm on Fluxeril, which is a muscle relaxant. I'm on Gabapentin, which is an anticonvulsant, also known as Neurontin, used to control my nerve pain. Um, we don't know what's causing the nerve pain. Um, and I'm taking arthritis strength Tylenol. And occasionally I take a leave the arthritis and inflammation in my left hip and in my knees and my upper back. There's definitely arthritis in my body. I'm 56 years old. I'm getting older. Arthritis is a part of getting older and arthritis pain is a part of getting older. But the arthritis doesn't explain all the pain throughout my body, my muscles, my nerves, and things like that. Um, I've got a busy schedule next week. On Monday I'm seeing my psychotherapist. I've been seeing her about once every two weeks. Um, on Tuesday I have group therapy for a DBT therapy, also known as dialectic behavior therapy. It's a form of therapy that's designed to help mental health consumers or patients, whatever word you want to use, to have a higher stress tolerance and be able to deal with stress better and tolerate it without falling apart both internally and externally. That is, if I'm having psychiatric symptoms, I learn to have a better stress tolerance for those symptoms. If I'm experiencing an externally stressful situation, I learn to tolerate that stress better without falling apart. Um, and I go to that group once a week. It's scheduled for 10 weeks. There's about seven or eight more weeks to go. Um, so it'll last into March. Um, on Wednesday, I'm seeing my urologist because I have some bleeding out of my urethra. And they just want to poke around with a can and check out my prostate and my bladder. Um, the day after that, I'm seeing my psychiatrist. And the day after that, I'm seeing my primary care. To catch up on all the latest about my physical pain that I've had in my body. Um, one of the things that I was going to do is um, ask my psychiatrist about taking an antidepressant like Cymbalta or Amitriptyline or some other antidepressant which will help me with depression and anxiety um, as well as help block some of the physical nerve pain that I'm having. Cymbalta is available generically so my insurance would pay for it. Um, it's used to treat pain from things like lupus, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, shingles, diabetic neuropathy. I don't have any of those diagnoses. I don't have a diagnosis at all, which is what's frustrating and is making me angry. Um, but I'm taking that day by day, and I did start physical therapy, and they did assign me to do physical therapy exercises every day plus the exercises I was already doing on my uh, bike pedals indoors. I have an, an exercise machine that I use for one hour a day. Um, it does cause pain in my knees to do that and pain in my leg muscles, but that's part of physical therapy is working through the pain. Um, as far as my psychiatric symptoms go, I'm having a lot of panic attacks, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, some auditory hallucinations, not that intense today.
paranoia is pretty strong today. I'm kind of reluctant today to go outside of my apartment because of my paranoia. Um, but I usually get things done that need to get done. Dailies, right? The daily activities of living, showering, doing my wash, keeping the apartment clean, emptying the garbage, um, taking care of myself physically, trying to eat better because I have been diagnosed as pre-diabetic, which is often caused by Seroquel, which is what I'm on as a night medication. I also have high cholesterol and I'm about 25, 30 pounds overweight. Um, and I have an appointment with a dietitian, I believe, on February 7th. We were trying to lower my cholesterol, my blood sugar, without adding medications to my very long list of medications that I take. Um, I do take medication for high blood pressure, acid reflux, uh, constipation, um, and like I said, for the physical pain that I'm experiencing. So I'm on a long list of medications, both for psychiatric symptoms as well as for physical symptoms. Um, hopefully, I'll get some answers next week. Um, right now, I'm just taking it day by day, going through my daily schedule, sticking to my work on my computer, sticking to making these videos, exercising, doing my physical therapy exercises. Those are a new part of my schedule. Um, meditating twice a day. Um, I am still on Clonopin twice a day, half a milligram twice a day. I doubt my psychiatrist is going to remove that anytime soon because of the stress I'm under. Um, but it is the eventual goal to get me off Clonopin altogether. Of course, it'll probably be done gradually. Um, Clonopin is a controlled substance and it's not the best long-term solution for anxiety, which is exactly why I'm going to ask my psychiatrist about an antidepressant that can help me deal with anxiety, depression, as well as physical pain. There would be two benefits from taking that kind of medication. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. I can only ask. I can't predict the future. Um, I'm in less pain today than I was, say, two weeks ago. Um, if I had to put a scale to my pain between 1 and 10, 10 being the worst, I would say 6 or 7. Um, I slept on and off last night. I didn't get up until around 8 a.m., which is actually kind of late for me. I usually wake up at about 4 or 5 in the morning and then meditate, and I'm up for the rest of the day. But for some reason, I slept late today, and I'm not sure why. But I did get some sleep, which is always good. Um, insomnia makes my physical problems worse, and it makes my uh, psychiatric symptoms worse. So it's always a good thing that I get a good night's sleep. Um, it makes it easier for me to deal with the stress of physical pain and psychiatric symptoms. Um, so I have a full schedule next week for medical reasons and uh, psychiatric visits, psychotherapy visits, group psychotherapy visits. A um, lot lined up for next week. Um, it's winter here. I, I don't have a whole lot of motivation to go outside, which is maybe not a good thing. Staying alone for too long can reinforce paranoia. It can reinforce hallucinations. It can reinforce depression and anxiety. Um, and I understand that it's probably not a good thing to stay indoors all the time. Um, but sometimes it's hard for me to motivate myself to go outside. Especially during the winter. Cold weather makes my physical pain worse, particularly the arthritis in my joints. And it's also not helping the muscle pain and the nerve pain. It just tends to make it worse. Um, so that's all the report for now.